Hi darlings, how are you? This is gonna be for my Pisces and this is gonna be from the 10th of August to the 13th of August. I'm trying to get back on track. By now, all you guys know that there was an accident in my family. Um, my daughter is doing well. It was... I'll come live and I'll tell you about it. Um, she's home with me here, healing. Um, I want to thank all you guys. Thank you all for reaching out to me. Thank you for the emails, the text messages, the phone calls, the comments, everything. I thank you. I'm so very appreciative and so very grateful. Thank you so very much. So... Pisces, this is going to be for you. I hope I said Pisces. Hold on. Okay, apparently I did. So Pisces, this is going to be for you. Oh, I will be using my Everyday Witches Tarot deck. And I'm not going to clarify, but I will be pulling you a card from the Psychic Tarot um, Oracle deck. So Pisces, this is for you. The Knight of Swords. There was some kind of shift in your environment or you were going somewhere and you didn't really care who was in your way. See how the card looks? Kind of angry. The Moon. Was that because you weren't seeing things clearly? The Eight of Cups, were you thinking of walking away from a situation, leaving it all behind, cutting your losses? The Ten of Pentacles, not too long ago you came into some money. Or some kind of domestic love, but now you're thinking about walking away? Hmm, what's going on? The Fool. Oh, are you walking towards a new beginning? That's the fool. Take the leap of faith. New beginnings. <clears throat> the Six of Cups. Okay. Are you thinking about going back or are you thinking of pa of the past, you know, memories and things like that? And are you thinking about restarting something that was finished, but maybe it wasn't really finished? I got the Six of Cups. And that's like the past, you know what I mean? It's like the past coming back. You Maybe you're thinking about it or maybe you decided, you know what? <coughs> Excuse me. You know what? I'm going to take a leap of faith. I'm going to try this again. You know what? It wasn't bad when we were together. Maybe we can work out our differences. I don't know. Only you know if that's the situation. Excuse me. Whew, I'm back. Okay. So the Six of Cups could be the past that you've been thinking about or maybe you're thinking about starting back. Um... A relationship or something from the past. It wasn't bad. There was enough. There was domestic love and there was money and there was everything there that you needed. 
but for some reason you weren't seeing things clearly? Is that what it is? But now you're thinking that, you know what? We can go and start again and we can try this. Now I see the five of wands here. I pull the five of wands after the six of cups. <clears throat> and that says there's some kind of conflict. So maybe you're thinking of walking away or going towards the past, but you're not fully sure. You're having some kind of conflict going on with you. And you're having a lot of sleepless nights here. The Nine of Swords. Anxiety and worry. When you worry, worry brings more worry. Or are you just, is it because of this argument, this conflict? It's like back and forth. Then you got the Five of Cups. Feeling emotionally empty, Pisces, what's going on? Happiness and everything is in the past, but now there's a new beginning. There was something that you went after kind of hasty. You didn't care what was in your way, you went after it. Or you communicated something. That was the Knight of Swords. But you weren't seeing things clearly. You're thinking of walking away, but in the past, you know, when you look back at it, things were pretty good. But now you're upside down and then you got the three of wands here. You're making plans and progress about something. You're waiting for something. <laughs> There's something in motion for you. You're expecting it and you're waiting for it. Hold on, let me do these cards. I'm running out of time. progress in whatever it is that you're doing um and this card that i got is prosperity begins give me one second let me pull it up in the book prosperity begins this card brings a message of beginnings prosperity wealth and new business which could soon be the in the palm of your hand it may result from your hard work past efforts and investments okay um or it could show up unexpectedly it may even be pre presented as a gift. With careful and diligent planning, recent endeavors and money-making ideas show great possibilities and promises of monetary gains. This is a time to focus on the most beneficial outcome. Expect the best and envision the project or new job having a successful result. Feel it, see it, and most important, believe it. When you focus on abundance and the positive aspects of the material world and offer gratitude, prosperity in all forms will flow even more freely. When you focus on abundance and the positive aspects of the material world and offer gratitude, prosperity in all forms will flow more freely. So, whatever you're worrying about here, you need to stop the worry. I, I see prosperity coming. It's coming. You're planning it and you're making progress, okay? You may be thinking about going back to the past, but the past was not a bad one. Right, so you might go ahead and take that leap of faith to restart something with a better understanding. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves and we will chat soon. Bye.